Um, you know, I'm just finishing my 20th year of coaching and my 20th year of teaching. I'm a special education teacher at Shenandoah Home Middle School. Absolutely love it. Work with students with disabilities and uh, I coach. So I guess that's uh, the hand of that, right? Fifteen years ago, I started the CB Dynamo program by myself with an old ring owner, and we've kind of built it up over the years. It's had its ups, had its downs, but that's been something I've been very proud of outside of my career. Um, it's, I've helped tons of players, been in front of so many kids, some of them are here today, who won a state championship with, and that's really what I love most. Like that, that's, that's what I'm able to share today. So. Brad Shaver, I'm the hockey director here at Clifton Park Dynamo. I've been here since uh, the start of the program in 2007, 2008. Currently, I'm um, the head coach for the 16U team. Um, and uh, looking forward to finishing this season strong. And, and, and we're really uh, promoting next year and having a great uh, midget season for, for our teams next year. I just like how much he cares. Uh, he, he, he really worries about um, like what we could be doing better and how to better our, our hockey team uh, individually and just how much he like, kind of demotes his life towards us. Uh, it's just close rank and it's very competitive and the players here, we are a family, so it comes together. I love being here. Yes, but outside the rank, he is another father. And Coach Shaver took me in uh, to play for the AAA team down here. Uh, about five years ago, and I've been playing for Dynamo ever since. So it's just a new opportunity for me, and I've improved a lot since then. Well, I'm old school, um, and I combine that with a little bit of the, of, of the new new age coaching with communication purposes. But uh, you know, we just expect a lot of the kids in accountability. Um, we we don't. As you can say, it's, it's, it, failures are a part of what, what we feel is growth here with the kids and how they overcome those failures and how they overcome um, some of the, some of the, uh, uh, the issues that are the trial or, or I guess the, the controversy that they have within the season and, and that's how kids develop. So um, I think that we're on every day and uh, we're intense every day. Our practices are intense every day and, and uh, the players are, are not comfortable here so, uh, on a daily basis and that's what makes them better. Well, I think if, if you can get a group of, of, of players, a group of people to work together and, and put themselves second, we, we've tried to have a philosophy of team, uh, it's, it's team teammate me and me being last uh, this season. I think that that's a dying, that's a dying philosophy right now. Um, so I think that's one thing that we've preached this year is put your team first, be a good teammate. And, uh, and that, that, will, that will carry on above hockey. Um, and that's what we, we really are instilling in the kids this year. It's, it's tough right? because when, when you're down players, you're injured, and, and that's when that's when the team really th really needs to thrive and really needs to come together. So um, I think it's a, it's a great statement. It's a great question. It's it's about being the best you can be for your teammate, and and in that case, um, uh, you're gonna you're gonna end up winning in the end. <laughs> I'm Jake Geron, I'm the head coach of the 18U team. I think that I am a uh, everything earned, nothing given kind of coach. Um, I, I put everything I have into into these guys here and into the teams here, and uh, you know I, I just expect the back the same thing back from my players. It's the most important thing. Everything needs to be a team here. It says it in our locker room. Me doesn't exist here. Um, everything needs to be we. Everything needs to be a team. Um, brought me to Dynamo is the, uh, the, the great coaching staff, um, the opportunities that I have while playing here, and the elite competition that we have while we're here. Coach Ron especially is very positive and keeps things, keep things, keeps things up and kind of keeps our momentum going in the right direction, um, which is a, a, a great thing that I, I think is awesome that he does. Uh, I love Dynamo as an organization. Uh, I think the facilities are great and the coaching staff, and it's really just a family here. Our coaches are great because they provide us with opportunities that we really won't find anywhere else. They help us get recruited, and I really think that's special to Dynamo. 
Yeah, I, I think that if, if you're a player that's interested in, in being a part of what we do here, uh, it is, it, it's so important to buy into everything that, uh, that each individual player buys into, that our coaching staff uh, preaches, because we have a history of developing players into uh, tremendous collegiate athletes. And um, that, that tradition of call it excellence is, uh, is something that can be learned. Um, it's something that we can teach. And, and once you learn it, you have it forever. All right, I'm Styles Bridges, head coach of the 14U CP Dynamo Tier 1 Elite Team. Whew. I've had the kids since they were in mites, so roughly six or seven years with this team specifically. Well, you know, one can ask about the coaching style, but one of the first things we said on day one, we put it on the board when this team got together. Good parents make for a good team. And we have a family atmosphere, so it's a collective group environment. So it's not just the coaches, the parents buy in, the kids have to buy in, it's a huge commitment. And, you know, yes, what I like to say, the coaches have everything to do with it, but it's collaboration with communicating with parents, communicating with players, and to get success on ice. Uh, I think we just have a really good group. Like, these are all my brothers. Like, even the newer, new players this year, we formed and gelled together. Like, we're a good group. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're a family. Sometimes you can be a little hard on us, but I love him. He's a good coach. It is a uh, good coaching, you know. They take their jobs very seriously, and I think they uh, progress every player that comes this way. Uh, they recruited me, and my dad thought it was the best opportunity f for me. Um, I played with them in the summer. I loved the coaching, the players, so I decided to come out and play for them. Well, specifically when it comes to Dynamo, I know what we've done in the past. I know what the program used to be when we were in the bottom, and we have, through the years, brought the program up to where it needs to be. We're consistently playing top 30 teams in the country. We use video, video communicate with the players, send videos to the players, off ice conditioning, family excursions, bringing this team together to be tight knit group at the end of the day. And if you're a good parent and you have a good kid, that's what we care about. It's not your ability. We want a kid that works hard and is willing to go the extra mile because that's what it takes to play at this level. So, you know, you have a facility here with two rinks. You got coaches who are willing to, you know, go out of their way to make the players better, spend the time that they need to do, uh, work on things off ice, on ice. Um, you know, you, you kind of, as a group that comes together, you form a family and you, know, you got to take care of your family. Dynamo's end-all, be-all.